the fuck is that thing? A fake dog robot? It's like a it's robot, huge. but it's running like a oh, fucking old. horse or something. We've done that. We've done um, a discussion on that. That, that wow, that's old. Yeah. It's like yeah. a pack. It's like a pack donkey following a guy up the hill. Company, six feet. 330 pounds. It's a humanoid robot that can use tools. Oh. It can walk, wow. as you can see, up mountainous terrain. Therese basically says, basically, folks, this is the Terminator. You should be afraid of it. They are actually wow, designed, though, cool. to assist the military, carrying equipment, do all sorts of other tasks. Uh, I have to say, robot, it's really, really remarkable. I think the reason why it freaks it out so much, freaks our producer out, is because it doesn't have a head. But it's fascinating. Ah! The problem is oh, with the robot. Does that scare you? Okay. <laughs> oh, that big it doesn't, it doesn't bother you at all. No. I this think is, it's fascinating. This is what they look like. This is what they do. The only thing that scares me is the knees seem to be going the wrong she way. Is. <laughs> when, when you I see it run. run, that video is really amazing when you see it run because it's almost replicating a dog or a horse. They obviously study the What do you know about yeah. running? Yeah. Like it's really, and it even trips at one point and gets right back up. But think about look how, how fast that thing's running. I know you can't see this. that fucker chasing you. All the variables. This video will be everywhere today. That's the fucking. Uh, yeah. They would be screaming. I think Rogan was the one to turn me on to that originally. It's pretty cool. That might be a different version of what we saw a couple years ago. Yeah. Yeah. That's like one of the jokes. Yeah. I don't have to outrun the robot. I just have to outrun the two of us. YouTube. Now I come back. I've seen Chris Cuomo. He's about six three, and he's tiny compared to that big bitch. He's definitely outrunning her. You're more of a giant robot. Move her back in the set. It's really bothersome. Why, why is she the one who's on the side of the desk? She's the one who should be behind the desk. Everyone knows forced perspective. You're just making it way worse. And in the other room, seal Put her in the back. How big do you think she is? She's six feet. She's got to be at least six feet and pushing 300 pounds. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I think she's pushing 300 pounds. Because Chris Cuomo used to work out in our gym. He's a big fucker. He's huge. Yeah. Yeah. He looks tiny next door. I know. That's what I'm trying to tell you here today. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So gravity did well over the weekend, and my Broncos did fucking great. Oh, your Broncos. Yeah, your yeah. Broncos. Yeah. You bleed uh, Bronco orange? Yes, I do. Wow. Yep. No. I heard they uh, beat Dallas. I didn't see any of it. Oh, oh. it was a sick game. It was a shootout. Game. But I had no doubt that and Dallas hung in there right to the end. Then what happened? I didn't see Dallas, the end. I'll Dallas be honest. They fucked quick. up. Dallas was up fourteen nothing. Well, that's what happens with a winner. Peyton's a winner. Fucking and Romo's not, and that's. But it literally, I don't care how well it went out. That's why he won, and Romo didn't. I think they were down like Romo thirty-seven twenty, and and they came back. Oh, and then Romo fucked uh, up near Dallas. the end. Oh, Dallas, where yeah, yeah. Romo had another fuck up. Yeah, I mean Romo. And Romo then the Broncos did. kicked the the field goal to win fifty-one forty-eight. What was Romo's fifty-one forty-eight? Huh? What was his fuck up, Romo? I didn't see it. Did anyone know what it was? No. Uh, I'm not surprised if he choked because that's what he does. He's never going to win a big game, and he never has. He kind of had a little uh, fuck up there. It was what like was the, the fifth highest point total, I think. Yeah. Really, yeah. dude, he'll play great in the regular season. He's just not a big game guy. It was a great game, at all. Mm. Uh, the yeah, NFL. I, I mean, I, I finally got the red zone because we all talked about it for years. <laughs> it's, the it's the only way to watch football. But there's so many people that don't have the red zone for whatever reason. They're idiots. And and <laughs> and the NFL, you know. Fantasy football, I don't personally like it, but I know, like everyone else, a million people that do it. And and it's just not fair. Like, in New York, the, there was only one game on, basically, yesterday. That's, usually, that's how it is everywhere. Uh, no, I understand. And it was the fucking Giants who just are horrible this year. They're 0-5. <laughs> so you wow. get to sit down for some Sunday football. If you don't have the red zone or other means, you're stuck watching this shitty game. Yeah, or if you're not and that's like all you get. dollars for DirecTV's football right. package or whatever. And then the four o'clock game was the Broncos Cowboys, <laughs> yeah. which was awesome. But that's that was it. They only offered two games in New yeah. York yesterday. Got to watch Red Zone. You know, it's the best Red Zone rules, but they don't mm. take commercials on Red Zone. They don't. No. And they're not allowed to start until one o'clock. What is that about? Well, the games don't start till one. Yeah, but you would think they would start a little early just to kind of warm up. There's well, no. They have another, a countdown you need clock. Pre-show. Yeah, right. There's uh, no highlights. On. There's Wait, no highlights yet. Did but it's throw, weird. Did he throw an interception? Fucking cocksucker. Oh. <laughs> Did that cocksucker <laughs> throw an interception? But he's, he scored 48 for the Cowboys. But, it, but was, but, you know, part of 48 points, whatever. But still, to throw an interception, like, that's that's the difference between a great quarterback and a guy who will never, ever fucking win. Oh, he fucking stinks. He was in there right to the end. But, but exactly, but he blew it. He's almost like yeah. the guy who drives well all day, but then runs over a kid in his own driveway. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's he threw it. an interception on the 24. When, uh, when, though? 
Oh, uh, late two with two thirty nine. Yeah, there you go. I, I, <laughs> yeah, that's why oh, wow. Romo is a fucking late. hunk of shit. We had the same quarterback for a while. Sanchez was like that. Good skills, but could just never get it done when you really, Why really you say need we? Him. I thought you were a Broncos fan. Well, I am a Broncos yeah. fan, but... Were the Cowboys up when he did that? No, it was tied. No, it was tied. It was tied, and he fucking... 48-48. <laughs> what a fucking... Wait, on, on his own 24 the Broncos 24? On his own 24. What a twat. <laughs> and then they what got, a twat. Then they got to kick a field goal, and that was it. God, Peyton, is he worthless. Peyton Manning is having a ridiculous year. It's amazing. I, I have to do a make good, because when Elway uh, got rid of uh, stupid Tebow... <clears throat> I beat the shit out of Elway. Yeah, he's hmm. he's incredible this year. They bring in Peyton, he's unbelievable, and <laughs> Tebow is nowhere. Wow. He threw his first interception this year, la yesterday. Yeah, that was it. Yeah. First five, one. Five I don't Pretty think I watched I don't think I watched like a second of That's football. Cool. You're doing other manly stuff like this playing way. with your cat. Yeah, hmm. playing with my cat. Yeah, you, I watch football. You even admitted Columbo. you like the red zone. Yeah, red zone's cool if that's a game I I would kind of you know care about watching. Right. Yeah, then I would fucking. What do you mean? It's all games though. Yeah, no, I mean like if, if like the matchups. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I'm just not into it, especially this year. I'm just not fucking mm. not into it. Well, you gotta you know jump on the fucking Broncos bandwagon like I am. Should I do I that? I love the Broncos now. <clears throat> I think it's it would be a great story if he, if he turns around and wins a Super Bowl for Denver. That'd Super be Bowl's fucked in up. Super fucking jersey this year, the too. Best team mm -hmm. in football. Mm -hmm. Jersey Super Bowl, right? Mm -hmm. is, yes. We're, We're not going. We're not going. No. We're Why? not going to the Super Bowl? No. It's right across the river. <laughs> <laughs> Why aren't we? If we can't do this. It's going to be cold. Oh, God. That old gag. We got to start cold. that old gag up already. The Super Bowl march. Oh, God. March right over the bridge and go. This will be the 20th year without us going. <laughs> I think this is the big 20. I'm sure you could tailgate if you want. No, he's going to stop oh, that'd you. Be nice. What about, that'd be fucking, oh. what about Radio Row? Radio <clears throat> Row would be good. Yeah. Brady's streak ended yesterday. That was big news. What was his streak? He had 52 games with a touchdown pass. Yeah. And then he threw an interception in the game. Whoops. <laughs> but Brady has, what, three Super Bowls or four? Or three, like, he's oh, up two. Yeah. two. He's got four. Three or four. He's like a war he's like one of the greats. Uh, he ever. Have four. Sure. Yeah. So if he has a shit season, he's entitled to How it. How many fucking yeah. Super Bowls Brady? Well, have? he's also got no receivers, so yeah. He's it, Romo is a fucking <laughs> sickening choke. That's like me doing great <laughs> setups on stage every night and bombing on every punchline. <laughs> That's like me giving you a wonderful setup, and then when I'm supposed <clears> to go, they it own comes. it. I go, they all own it. Oh, no, wait, I mean, they own it. Oh, <laughs> like, oh, he fucking every coughed, coughed time. It up. I don't care if he scored 48. He choked mm. with two minutes left. It is three. Okay. What a hunk of shit. Brady has three Super Bowls. Mm -hmm. And he could have easily had another one in there. How many has he lost, what, though? The one, the Giants one? The Giants one, yeah, well, I mean, that was a catch. Yeah. Could easily have that one. It was more than a catch. Well, that's debatable. <laughs> How many has he lost? Two? <laughs> I'm not sure. <clears throat> at knows, least one. Who knows their Brady shit? <clears throat> no, he's lost at least two. Well, I mean, I, say, I just say yeah. at least one because I know of that one. Patriots. Both to the Giants, right? No, one to the Giants. And one, uh... At least two. Who did How's... he just lose to? Oh, Christ. Oh. I don't know. Mal. I'll give it Sam Roberts' answer. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Well, when we're stuck, uh -huh. we just have to say, I want to see the boat movie. <laughs> boat, boat movie. I want to see the boat movie. I want to see the boat movie. I want to see the boat movie. movie. <laughs> that space movie beat the boat movie? I want to see the boat movie. <laughs> space movie. <laughs> hey, yeah, <hey>, yeah. Hey. <laughs> Man. Could someone help us out on Twitter? How many fucking Super Bowls has Brady lost? I say... Lost? At least two, right? Yeah, three and two. Thank yeah, you. Uh, thank you, uh, Nick's Hex on uh, Twitter. Yeah, Brady's three and two in Super Bowls. Okay. <clears throat> oh, right. oh, Gotta unwrap my toast ago. before it gets soggy. Huh? Wrapping tin foil. So that was ten years ago. He lost to the Rams. Jesus. Mm. Romo? I mean, um, Romo? Uh, Brady. Yeah. Oh, okay. Pats just don't have receivers. No. They're in a tough spot this it's year. Nice to watch them lose. Especially in the pouring rain. You like that? I got I got yeah. some roots up there. I do like that. I take a little look at the Patriots cool. every once in a while. Got some roots. No, I can choke on this. You're still upset about that. No, but he's another he's another baby. He's another baby. Uh this is why this is why football fans are fucking dumb cocksuckers. <laughs> World's worst tweets. Shut up about Tony Romo. He threw for five hundred yards and five touchdowns. He lost 
to a team that's going to win the Super Bowl. Exactly, you <laughs> dumb cocksucker. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> that's exactly that's my point. point. <laughs> Thank you. Big, ah, big shit. And he just... Once again, if it's not doing this, it's fucking <laughs> the ball for the kick. <laughs> when he couldn't hold the fucking kick. Romo, <laughs> Romo panic. He panics in really important situations. That's Jimmy's point. You there, made my point. Right. There's a lot of quarterbacks have a, that have a great skill set, but you don't. They don't have something inside the heart, the heart that they. Every fucking announcer has talked about since the beginning of time. <laughs> Got to have that heart too. And how about he doesn't you gotta throw You got to have that. ice in your veins when yes. it matters. Ooh. How about he doesn't throw that interception, you fucking dummy? How about for once <laughs> he beats that great team and marches <laughs> the team down the field? How about for once he's a leader for real? He, he gets you right there. He gets you right there. And then as you're about to come, he's the phone ringing. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he is. That's he's a, a, a warm, wet pussy. And then you're about to shoot. <laughs> and you see your mom come up on the caller ID. <laughs> and you're like, oh, great. <laughs> and uh, to finish up football, Obama's in on the Redskins thing now. God, it's just so annoying. I look at the TV when I see like him talking about it. I'm like, what year is this? They just decided to have a problem only recently. I think there's more important things for him to be of, fucking of course. commenting on. Well, I think he was asking just shit. But, oh, was he? Yeah. But he wants mm. the Redskins to change he their name. He, would, he, he said he would think about it if he owned the If team. he was the owner. Yeah, you're right. If he was the owner of the team, he would yeah. think about it. If, they, if, you know, people were. They're not offended. backing down. They immediately, you know. Released a, a, a statement saying, you know, we're not changing the name. Cool. Let's see, let's see, let's see them show those balls when one of their players <laughs> says something racial. That, th if they do that, I'll respect the Redskins. I I'll, just, I'll respect, I just respect the Redskins. Enough of this shit. You got to stop this shit. I don't think they should change it. That's ridiculous. They will eventually, though. They of keep saying they, they will. will. They will eventually. Eventually, they a, will. They'll, fold. there'll be a new owner eventually. That's a little more, you know, <clears throat> sensitive. Down the road or whatever. It, of course they're going to change the name eventually. <clears throat> I, I hope they don't anytime soon, though. The, Red, the Redskins team, they said, as a supporter of President Obama, I'm sure oh. the president is not aware that in the highly respected independent Annenberg Institute poll taken in 2004 with a national sample of Native Americans, nine out of ten Native Americans said they were not bothered by the name Washington Redskins. I believe that, too. Oh, cool. We live in a world where it's the, 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 the fucking tiny minority. I know yeah. we sound like broken records, but that's the that's a fact. Yeah. And then there was an AP poll this year that four out of five Americans don't think it's a big deal. Yeah, most people probably don't. Yeah. I was Miley yeah. Cyrus on SNL. I see a clip up there. Very funny. She was funny, huh? I, I got it DVR'd. Mm -hmm. I heard there were some good skits. Yeah, With time good. on your cable! <laughs> Shut up. Hey, I hear... Uh, is this true that Obama, the the number for Obamacare is 1-800-fuck-you? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. No, isn't there... What? I, I, saw, think, I saw that on, on the news. Is that a joke I, or is yeah, it real? No, oh. Drudge put that up, but I think there's a one. It's like F-1-U-C-Y-O-U or something like really? that. Really? Yeah, like it's a little misleading. I thought it was fuck you or fuck yo. And, you know, I mean, you could take any leave number. Leave the last you off for up your ass. You can take any number and make it into something. Yeah, but yeah. it's pretty odd if it's fuck this you. Is, it's it's actually F one U C K Y O. Oh, fuck but yo! Drudge put up a thing that said F U C K Y O. All right, yeah, because that makes different. for a better headline. And then sure. you see it the other way, and it this. doesn't even come close right. to looking like fuck. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's there's a one in there that. All right. A lot of people are. I was wondering about that. That's fuck you, though. It is pretty close. F one U, fuck you. That's absolutely no, that's a fuck stretch. You. It's F one U C K Y O. Why would they make it? Yeah, dude, that's a big. <laughs> I could see if it was like just a K or that's. It's so, literally fuck you. Could you could see fuck you. Oh yeah. my god! Yeah, <laughs> that's a coincidence. Fuck you. It's a dumb coincidence. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Oh. It is funny, though, that somebody sat by It's misleading their... that Judge, uh, you know, takes the one out of the thing. Yeah. And somebody sat by their phone trying to figure out every possible combination to yep. fuck over Obama. <laughs> <laughs> like, and, they, and then got excited that they almost have it. Right. And so then they just deleted a, a number. Yeah. And just made it work. Fuck you. What are we supposed to do with Obamacare? Are we good? I don't even know. Are we supposed to adjust all our shit? How does that work? I don't even know how this works. No, you get to keep your current health care um, provider, and uh, it doesn't cost the country a dime. 
That's what was promised. Nice. Well, that's right. Uh oh. It's not. That's not happening. And apparently, uh, people are like all up and on saying, "Wait a minute! I thought this was affordable health care. It's apparently very expensive. Aww. Like people are saying, I'm not getting this insurance. It's too expensive. So now they have to pay the fine um, uh, at the end of the year when they uh, do their taxes. It's a clusterfuck. Yeah. Healthcare.gov. There they are. Look, there's a couple of Asian a, people there looking all nice. Just How, see. It just doesn't seem like it was ready to be rolled out. No. I wouldn't mind a little health care for the, for the masses, but... I'm nowhere near as right as you, that? but I can't understand how you can fine people for not yeah, exactly. buying health care. The only well, problem I have with them yeah. is that they're the ones who jack up our costs when they get their fucking leg cut off or they get cancer, and we have to pay for them. And then it's like, well, what do they? Because they know we're going to pay for them. That's what drives me crazy. Well, Don't pay the fine, but then if you get cancer, fuck you. Can I take the other side of that argument? That would be all well and good if then our costs go down, but our costs will never go down. No. Right? You know, that we all know why we pay so much, and it's because of Jimmy's point. But now that we're taking care of that and making people pay and finding them and stuff, you watch. Our shit won't go down. That's why the Supreme Court had to dub it a tax. <laughs> because you can't. The, a government entity yeah. cannot force you to buy something. That's what they're doing. No, they're not. It's just a tax. Oh. See? They're all in cahoots. I get it. There's now. always a workaround. Yes. A tax. A tax. But is, it, is it true the, the government shut down? They got rid of Amber Alerts now? Did they? No, they shut down. Was that real? Of, part of what shut down, I think, was that. But no, they mm. didn't get rid of them. Not rid of them, but for now, like the oh look, Amber. Okay, Amber yeah. Alert website offline due to shutdown. Yeah, <laughs> that the CDC stopped tracking the flu. Really? Yeah, shit like that. A oh, little government things, little it's really things important. But it doesn't matter where the flu goes. We all end up getting it, so we yeah. don't really need yeah. it tra tracked, anyways. <laughs> but the Amber website is down. Oh God, we're just disgusting. Yeah, we're just disgusting human beings. <laughs> Yeah, they're trying to figure this out. There's Good luck. lost kids out there, so like, yeah, but you know, the government shut down. The TSA is trying to blame that, like, uh, the nine year old getting onto that plane the other day. Oh, right, yeah. Because there's so many furloughs that they were right. short staffed. And... Yeah, that sounds like something. That so was a kid a false was just able operation. to walk through the airport. Our politicians are it's disgusting. They are disgusting. They're just disgusting fucking people. That kid just walked on a plane. Yeah, he, he, you, he walks you, through, through, through security, through boarding, right onto a plane, no ticket. How does a kid do that? That's pretty cool. Yes. Damn. I have no idea. Mm. It's really, really short. It's the furloughs. <laughs> no end in sight, right? So when does this start getting real ugly? We we had a guy set himself on fire down there in Washington Ugh. on Friday <laughs> after our radio show. Is he show. dead or did he get put Oh, yeah. Him? Oh, good. Oh, he ended up dying? Oh, yeah. He, he wasn't dead at first. They have, to, uh, they have to identify him by dental records. What the fuck? Last I heard, he was still alive. No, he's dead. Uh. Yeah, he did one of those fucking... You got to really hate Buddhist. yourself to put yourself <laughs> yeah. on fire. Because that's not an instant thing. Oh, my God. That was uh, something on that Richard Pryor documentary talking about that. He was just watching the, the Buddhist monk right. set himself on fire and how he didn't even flinch. And then he fucking, his buddy's outside and he just sees on fire Richard Pryor <laughs> screaming, running past him. Well, the Buddhist monk prepared himself <laughs> yeah, exactly. for, yeah. for the ultimate fucking yeah. out. Pryor probably <laughs> thought your senses all just die immediately uh, yeah. and you zone out and burn. Uh, 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 well, the Buddhist monk, you know, years and years of training, learned how to, like, slow everything the fuck down. Richard Pryor's doing lines before mm -hmm. he sets himself on fire. The complete opposite. Jesus wow. Christ. You don't think the monks were freebasing? Before no. They Probably not. No. Because you got to keep that heart nice and chill. Wow. <laughs> Man. All right. We got October today. We got um, mm. we got the Fox Philly broad. That's stupid. <laughs> what a typical dummy. <laughs> They're all stupid. We all know that. News people are just stupid. Who's not stupid on the news? They're news. That's readers. a very good question. The local people are just stupid. Piers Morgan seemed smart when he was in here. Yeah. I know you oh. don't agree with him on everything, but he did. He's an intellect, at least. Yeah, he, was, he came across as intelligent. He if he was intelligent, he'd be able to fucking put two and two together. Hmm. He can't. Four. Very good, Chippa. Chip's very smart. <laughs> but most of them are just dumb, stupid uh, news readers. Oh, yeah.
But she's great. Like she's she to me, she's honest in a way. Like that's what the media is. The yeah, media yeah. is everything that she is when she tweeted. That's who and what they are. Of course, they're just fucking pigs. They're uh, pigs. Nancy Grace with her hashtags for her show. Yeah. Every time, trash baby, toilet baby, toilet baby dumpster yeah. baby, fucking. Ah. Uh. I thought you were making that up when you retweeted her with the toilet baby thing. No, it was toilet baby. I don't know how any serious person can. Create that hashtag. What a cunt she is. Yeah. Nancy baby. Grace is a capitalizing yeah. cunt. It's disgusting. Like, and people watch her though. Yeah, people oh, love her. Yeah. Worse than Nancy Grace starting that is all the people that were hashtagging Toilet Baby. Seriously, seriously. Oh, we've got to find out who who killed Toilet Baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's really like an episode of South Park. Yeah. <laughs> toilet Baby, indeed. <laughs> is Pat Cooper coming in today? No. What? Uh, next week. Oh, that's next week. It was supposed to be today, but it's next week. Oh, oh okay. Who told you that? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Could be the last appearance from Pat Cooper. Wow. Wow. We'll see. But they were birth. Mm. Okay. Both to the Giants he lost. Brady lost to the Giants twice. No, said. I know he lost to the Giants twice. I feel like there was a third one in there. That's why I got confused. Mm. So I guess he's officially three and two in uh, Super Bowls. Know. Oh, okay. You know what? Someone's saying the government has used that phone number since 1999. The fuck your number. No, yeah, yeah. But blame Obama. Who was in office in 99? Mm -hmm. Who had the sense of humor in 99? Mm -hmm. We're talking Clinton around then? Ooh. Right? No. George W. No. no. George W. Not yet. He was 2000. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, that was Clinton. Okay, no Clinton. that makes sense. <laughs> he probably would have done that. Yeah. yeah. Blow, blow me. Yeah. This is last year. Yeah. <laughs> right. Fuck you. Uh, sir, blow me is taken. Uh, <laughs> fuck you. Al <laughs> Gore is like, come on, dude. We just. <laughs> yeah, we make doing? this easier for me. Come on. <laughs> fuck you, Al. No, it'll be funny. <laughs> I'm going to lose the election by a couple of votes if you do this. <laughs> He's the best. Grows and balls, Al. <laughs> hey. Uh, also, when we get back, we got to talk about the biker guys. Oh, God. And yeah. that whole situation. Outstanding getting... citizens. All you needed to know is in that picture on the cover of the post. Uh huh. Yeah. That's it. That's all you needed. We'll discuss that next. The Opie and Anthony Show. The Opie and Anthony Show. Sirius XM. Sirius XM.